If I were asked to come up with a subtitle for this week's Torah portion, I would suggest using the name of that old famous Western, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The Torah portion starts off very good. God tells us if we observe his commandments, we'll have prosperity and we'll have peace. It's wonderful. Shalom al Yisrael, as we say. And then things get bad. God warns us, if you don't observe my commandments, you're going to face certain punishments. And as you start reading those punishments, they go from bad to ugly. We're told that eventually we'll eat the flesh of our sons and the flesh of our daughters. And it gets worse from there. And you can't help but notice that the punishments are so much more vivid than the blessings. And they go on in terms of the number of passages for more than twice as long as the blessings do. The French sculptor, Rodin gained his fame through the sculpture, The Thinker. But he has another sculpture called Adam and Eve at the Gates of Hell. It's on the Stanford College campus in Palo Alto, California. I was there visiting once and I really wanted to see that sculpture. And so I went to the campus, started asking students, how do you get to the Rodin Sculpture Garden? No one had any idea what I was talking about. Finally, in desperation, I stopped one student. I said, can you help me out? Have you seen Adam and Eve? They were standing at the gates of hell. And he looked at me for a second. He said, wait a minute, you mean that sculpture? I said, yeah. He says, I pass by that every day. I didn't know that was supposed to be Adam and Eve. I said, yeah, it's Adam and Eve at the gates of hell. He said, follow me. I'll show you where it is. It's majestic. It's incredible. It's terrifying. But it's not Jewish. That's not our conception. We don't believe that God is vindictive and vengeful and angry and jealous, standing up there in heaven with that tiny little lollipop saying, well, if you observe the commandments, I guess I'll have to give this to you. And then standing with a giant fly swatter on the other hand saying, oh, I can't wait to whack you with this. That's not our God. Our God is merciful. Our God is loving. So why is it that the punishments are so much scarier and more vivid than the blessings? Why do they go on so much longer? One reason, perhaps, is that God knows that if we follow his dictates and his ways out of love for him, that's certainly a much higher level than if we follow him only out of fear. But if God's got a choice between following him out of fear versus ignoring his commandments totally, he'll choose fear any day that ends in a Y. And so he injects a healthy dose of fear into the Torah in this week's portion. You read that, those punishments, they are terrifying. The second reason, perhaps, is that God has the gift of seeing the future. When he wrote the Torah, he knew we'd make it into the promised land. We'd build the temple, but that temple would be destroyed. We'd rebuild it, but then that second temple would be destroyed. And then we'd go into exile for thousands of years, enduring a persecution the likes of which no other nation has ever had to suffer. And so if you look carefully at the end of the punishments in this week's portion, God reassures us, don't worry. In the end, after all these punishments, you will survive. I will remember your forefathers. I will not abandon you. And so he's telling us, shouting to us through history, reduce your mourning periods. Don't look back because if you do, you'll never get out of bed in the morning. Of course, we miss our loved ones, all the people we've lost through all those persecutions. And so we restrict our two collective public mourning periods to the 33 days as we begin to count from Passover towards Shavuos, during which many of us have a custom not to shave or listen to music, and then in the days leading up to Tisha B'Av. But after those days of mourning, we put our smiles back on our face because we know, because our Father in Heaven who loves us has reassured us that the sun will come out tomorrow. Mm -hmm.